tonight. But first, President-elect Donald Trump's press conference today was the single greatest beatdown of the alt-left, abusively biased mainstream media in the history of the country. And that is tonight's opening monologue. All right, today, President-elect Donald Trump took on the press after the so-called journalists at CNN and BuzzFeed exposed themselves to be nothing more than political hacks. They ran wild with unconfirmed and completely unfounded allegations that President-elect Donald Trump has been compromised by Russia and that they hold embarrassing personal and financial information about him. Mr. Trump, he addressed it at the presser. Take a look. A thing like that should have never been written. It should never been had, and it should certainly never have been released. Uh, it's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. And it was gotten by opponents of ours, as you know, because you reported it, and so did many of the other people. It was a group of opponents that got together, sick people. I think it was uh, disgraceful, disgraceful, that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. You know, it is a disgrace. CNN and BuzzFeed, they should be ashamed of themselves. Now, this so-called dossier that was put together as opposition research, well, that was done by Trump's political opponents. It had been out there for months. Now, responsible media outlets like the Fox News Channel stayed away from it, but not over at CNN, the Clinton News Network. Take a look. CNN has learned that the nation's top intelligence officials provided information to President-elect Donald Trump and to President Barack Obama last week about claims of Russian efforts to compromise the president-elect Donald Trump. Included allegations that Russian operatives claim to have compromising personal and financial information about Mr. Trump. The underlying memos were produced by a former British MI6 intelligence operative with great experience in Russia and the former Soviet Union. Again, we haven't confirmed them, but it is something that is being taken very seriously and they're going to have to get to the bottom. Now, yesterday, CNN, they couldn't get enough of it. But earlier today, Jake Tapper, well, he had to correct some of the major allegations about Michael Cohn, who will join us later from the Trump Organization. Take a look. Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer, right. uh, has been out there because one in this uncorroborated report, it talks about Michael Cohen, Trump's uh, official corporate lawyer, making a trip to the Czech Republic. My reporting suggests that uh, people did try to run that down. They did. And they concluded that it was a different Michael Cohen. It was a Michael Cohen with a passport from another country, the same birth year, different birth date. Wow, imagine that, another Michael Cohen in the world. Now, CNN is still defending their smear against President-elect Trump, which once again proves my larger point that journalism in America is dead. I've been saying it on the air since 2008. And when it comes to the alt-radical left liberal press, there is a massive double standard. Now, they'll push fake news stories about President-elect Trump, but they never bother to even ask about or look into President Obama's very troubling past. Now, the media asked Barack Obama only one single time, and I fed the question to George Stephanopoulos about his relationship with the unrepentant domestic terrorist Bill Ayers, even though Obama launched his political career in Ayers' living room, gave speeches with him, and sat on boards with this guy. Well, they didn't care. That was Obama, and for 20 years, for example, no problem. He attended the Church of GD America. America's chickens have come home to roost. He listened to Reverend Jeremiah Wright all that time, and they turned a blind, blind eye to all of this. Obama embracing the tactics of left-wing activist Saul Alinsky. These were only a few of the examples. They didn't do their job in 2007 and 8. Now, if Donald Trump had done any of those things, had any of those connections, well, that would have been on the front page of every single newspaper, would be all over TV news for months. Now, just like CNN tried to attack Trump at the press conference earlier today. You remember any instance where Barack Obama was treated like this by the left-wing media? Take a look. 
Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Since you're no, Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you're, you are attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead, sir. Can Quiet. you state, can, Mr. President-elect? Go ahead. Can you state categorically? She's asking a question. Don't Mr. be President rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be you're rude. Attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us not a question? I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. And then he said, well, that's just not right. You're going to lecture the president-elect of the United States? Now, CNN, they're not always that aggressive. You may remember when former New York Times reporter Jeff Zeleny, who now works for the Clinton News Network, he was drooling over President Obama after his first 100 days with these softball questions. During these first 100 days, what has surprised you the most about this office, enchanted you the most about serving in this office, humbled you the most, and troubled you the most? Now, let me write this down. <laughs> Surprised. Right, I've got, uh, troubled. I've got, uh, what, what was the first one? Surprised. Surprised. Troubled. Troubled. Enchanted. Enchanted. Nice. And humbled. <laughs> Enchanted, really? Now, my advice tonight to the president-elect, ignore these people. If that's how they're going to treat you, they don't deserve the access they think they deserve. Now, these are the same people. They were caught red-handed, openly colluding with the Clinton campaign to help her win the White House and defeat you. Now, we're going to put up all the examples on the side of the screen in just a minute. The media has continually proven they are incapable of treating President-elect Donald Trump or any Republican fairly. And what we saw from CNN and BuzzFeed, it should serve as a dire warning to the incoming Trump administration. The media desperately wanted Hillary Clinton to win, and now that she didn't, they're going to try and destroy the president-elect, soon to be President Donald Trump. My advice tonight is be prepared because there will be plenty of other takedown attempts coming from this dishonest press over the next four years. They're only getting started. Joining us now with Reaction, the 